Hello, have you noticed these beautiful, great big blooms like the ones behind me? This is a red hibiscus. Been wanting to do this video for a while. Been kind of waiting to see how the blooms would turn out before I did the video here at my home. This is the largest hibiscus at my property. It gets the most morning sun. But uh, the best way to describe it is just a thick, lush bush that gets pretty large leaves on it, as you can see. Uh, the leaves get pretty, pretty big. And then of course the blooms are just absolutely beautiful they get huge uh which is so neat they shed they bloom and shed um these these big blooms rather quickly so it, it goes through a quick rotation it's more mostly a deciduous plant but it does do light shedding uh throughout you know throughout the spring and fall as it blooms uh it gets about six to eight feet tall as you can tell this one gets this one's uh taller than my fence here um and they get about three to six feet three to six feet wide they start pretty small um, at the nursery when you pick them up originally to purchase them, but they grow pretty quickly. Um, it doesn't have thorns. It does have a beautiful, sh you know, flower, of course, and then because of that, it does shed, but it, it's not so much that you couldn't put this around a pool, um, just because they're larger flowers. There's not really, it doesn't leave a large mess. Um, it does best in full sun, but they do say it, it does a little better when it's got evening shade. And because uh, my back wall here faces west, it gets like afternoon shade. So um, let's see, uh, it's frost tolerant, not really. When it gets pretty cold, uh, if there's a lot of channeled wind through here, it'll freeze these back, especially if it gets really cold, like below 30 degrees at night here in the winter time. Um, how much water does it require? Uh, this is a more of a tropical plant. It's actually native to uh, Asia, I believe, uh, East Asia. And because of that, um, you know, these do really well. I've seen them in Florida where they just really get huge. Here in the desert, uh, they don't always do as well. You'll plant a couple of them, some get larger than others. And I can give you an example over here at my house. There's uh, a few others that we planted actually later, or I'm sorry, earlier, and you can see it's not nearly as large. And we planted this probably a year or two beforehand. So you can plant next to each other and you'll see that they don't always get as large. Uh, Plants are kind of like people, you know, some will get bigger than others. And when you are dealing with a variety that's non-native, you even have a little more to deal with as far as more prone to fungus and disease and that sort of thing. Uh, is it safe for pets? I did a little research on this and I'll put a link in the, in the uh, blog as well. Um, they're mildly poisonous, the blooms, uh, for your pets to eat. Um, but you really want to do a little research on that yourself. Uh, they do also attract hummingbirds and uh, they're just a really nice shrub. I really lo love these for backyards. Uh, they just, they're a cool, cool shrub. They look very tropical and they're nice just to have. So if you have any other questions, feel free to contact us here at AMS Landscaping at azlawns.com. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page and follow us on uh, Facebook at AMS Landscaping and also check out our Instagram and Twitter at azlawns. Make it a great day.